everyone and very welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angelica. I'm so happy you're here with me. So <laughs> I hope you had an amazing Christmas guys. Today's Monday. Today I am going to show you guys the best eyeshadow palettes 2021. And according to me, <laughs> these palettes is the ones I have tried 2021. So maybe it's not palettes that has released 2021, but it's palettes that I have felt in love with 2021. And I haven't ranked them either because I can't. But the top two I have, <laughs> like not the top, but I have top two. Like I don't know which one is number one, but I'm gonna save that to last. So uh, if you are new here, <laughs> by the way, uh, this channel is almost all about makeup. I do some vlogs from time to time. I love to do that in my day-to-day -day life, what I'm doing, my family and all that. But it's almost all about makeup and I love makeup. I love eyeshadow palettes. I have it here. I love face makeup. I love indie. I love high-end drugstore colorful neutrals, everything in between. And if you want a place to relax, having a good time, this is the place to be. So don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, like this video if you like it. But let's go ahead and get started. So don't we love like favorites videos? And this is like the whole year. This is palettes that I have picked out. These are 11 palettes, by the way. There's 11 palettes that I feel like it's the best palettes of 2021 for me. Like according to me. <laughs> so this is just randomly, but the two, my favorite two ones are in, uh, in the end, of course. So I'm just going to pick one here. So I'm going to pick this one. This is from Give Me Glow and this is the Vintage Rose Palette. Oh my God, I wanted to try <laughs> this brand this year and I did. I bought this one and the Christmas morning. I just picked out this one because I feel like this color story is more like me, but Okay, look at this. This is pinks, berries, greens. These are like amazing shimmer formula. I mean, I am blown away about this like formula. It's, now I'm gonna swatch, but <laughs> I don't have like 100 palettes to swatch, so I'm gonna swatch a little bit. I mean, look at that. This shimmer formula is just so smooth, like metallic sparkly like not glittery just like bam in your face but on a very smooth and metallic way oh my god and i feel like the mattes are so great as well they are super pigmented they are easy to blend as well i think i used i can't remember now but i used one of the deeper shades just to blend out to nothing it was so easy this shade is stunning as well Oh, oh my god, it, it's a great formula. The thing is though, I live in Sweden and the shipping for me, like the shipping to get here from this brand is crazy. It's so, so expensive. So I won't buy anything more unless they like have like cheaper shipping costs <laughs> uh, because it was, it was crazy. It was not fun at all, but the palettes are fun. <laughs> Next up, we have a Colourpop palette. It's a mini palette and it's this one. I cannot not include this one. This is the Bambi Collection Thumper. I have all the three ones in the Bambi Collection and I love them all three so much. I've used these so much. But this one is my favorite color story. But look at this cute, cute packaging. I mean, look at him. <laughs> How cute is that little rabbit? Oh my God, look at this color story. This is just a perfect small five pan palette you can have with you when you travel. You can have it in your bag, but it's so, so pretty. These are more like cool tones, dusty, pinky, grayish, purplish tones. So you have three mattes. This one contains a little bit of glitter, but I can't see that really when I like have it on the eyes as much. But, and then you have these two shimmers, a green one and a pink one stunning color story and a very beautiful palette and so good quality. I love this one. Next up we have a uh, indie brand that I tried this year and I fell in love with. So it's from Unique Beauty. I just pulled one of them out because this is my favorite, but I have two actually from them. I can just show you. These are, I think the Tokyo collection something. This is the volume one and this is the palette I chose. This is the volume no, did I say volume three? I mean, 
<laughs> this is the volume one. This is the one I chose uh, for today's video, my favorite, because this has reds and pinks in it, and I love reds and pinks. And, oh, and this one is like a duochrome. I mean, it shifts. I don't know if you can see, it's so sparkling and beautiful. And this red is out of this world. Come on, it's so metallic and stunning. I mean, look at these shades this glittery sparkly goodness and then you have this stunning red oh my god it's so beautiful and they are so good in quality as well high quality i that's why i fell in love with this because the quality is so so freaking good as well and the color story and the special shades you know it's not just shimmers it's just like very sparkly cool like textures and yeah really really enjoy this one and i looking forward to see more palettes they come out with a lot of palettes actually i haven't got around to pick anything up i, I think it's a color story maybe it's something that I feel like not 100 percent but i am going i i am watching them <laughs> because i do want to purchase more from them in the future and now we come to a neutral palette and this is from sigma this is the only uh, palette i have from sigma so this year i tried sigma for the first time when it comes to eyeshadow palettes and i bought this ambience palette this is a neutral palette and it looks like this this is a stunning stunning neutral palette i mean i i fell in love with this palette so much i just feel like it's so beautiful and it's so thought through i mean you have deeper mattes here you have lighter mattes you have mid-tones and you have these shimmers here and i love the layout of this because you can think about quads all the time when you're doing this like look at the quad here and you have a quad here and you have a, like quads and it has some like golden tones warmer rosy tones cool tones you have everything you need when it comes to a neutral palette i feel like so I have used this a lot when I go to work because I love neutrals when I go to work and I love color colors also when I go to work. I love everything. As I said in the beginning, I love everything. And such a great palette and such a fun palette to use as well. I don't know. I just feel inspired when I look at this. And maybe you think, how can you be inspired about a neutral palette? Well, you can. <laughs> Obviously you can. Now we come to a palette that I fell in love with before I actually saw the inside. <laughs> I feel like. And it's the Colourpop Limoncello palette. I love lemons. I love lemon prints. I love lemons. I, I love lemons. And I love Italy. And look at this. This is like Italy, lemons. <sighs> yeah, I love Limoncello as well. So this packaging it's just stunning and it's 10 out of 10 and then when we open it up it is kind of a neutral palette but you have some pops of yellow and green and a pop of blue and look at these details here i mean everything is just so good i love this palette i have used this palette so much i have had it with me when we were traveling in in the summertime in sweden on vacation i take this out all the time to do looks with and i can do some neutral looks. i can go more yellow i can go with the blue like sometimes i just do a blue look and just put this one or this one on the lid or yeah it's very easy anyway it's such a good quality and i love the color story here this really makes me happy this uh, this is a palette that really makes me happy and i'm so glad i have it here we have a palette you can't get a hold of anymore unfortunately but it's from kaleidos it's the club nebula it's the collaboration with angelica nyquist angelica nyquist as you all know <laughs> is a beauty youtuber here on youtube she's from sweden as i her name is angelica or angelica as me <laughs> but anyway enough talk about that she did a great great collab with uh kaleidos she did this club nebula club nebula palette so let me show you this was like limited edition so i know it sold out the first round and then she took it back one more time not sure though but some of you have it some of you hasn't but i have to include it because i think it's gorgeous i think she did a great job 
a lot of dark shades here that I really really love and I love this one I absolutely love <laughs> I've used it so much like this purpley like duochrome I'm gonna swatch it and what else can we, we can take this blue as well I'm not like 100% like a blue girl but sometimes I reach for blue I reach more for the purples like it's so sparkly and beautiful and I have used this when I go out when I go on a date night or anything that I want to feel a little more special and a little more sparkly <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And I combine this palette also with other palettes. If I want to do like a purple look and I want a deep dark purple, I go for this one, like the dark ones in this one and the sparkly shades. So it's a great companion palette for me that has uh, other palettes that I feel like maybe I want something really, really rich in color, like darks, uh, dark shades, I mean, and uh, some sparkly shades. So stunning collab beautiful job uh, from Angelica and here we have a palette I don't know this wasn't in my ranking last year I believe because I think I got it like too late or something so I'm gonna include it this year but <laughs> it's the BH Cosmetics Avocado Toast I have used this so much this is a palette I bring also on vacations when I go for vacations because this is a grungy green but not like super grungy but it has a lot of neutrals as well and some lighter shimmers the shimmer formula is amazing the mats are amazing you have deep shades you have lighter shades oh you have everything you want this is my kind of green palette and i adore this palette i love it i feel like it's it's the perfect green palette and what else can i say i mean yeah love this one next up we have a brand that i really really love and it's from nomad cosmetics nomad, Cos nomad cosmetics is in the brand and they have their palettes like they they have all these themes like travel themes so they can have cities they can have countries they can have locations and this is the iceland palette this is the fire and ice and look at this beautiful palette guys they did it so good this is the best palette they have released in my opinion uh the palettes i have anyway i mean just everything is so thought through like the fire the eyes here you have the fire and the blues and oh the earthy tones i love this palette and i'm not a blue person but i have said this before these are the blues i am reaching for like not bright blues it's something about this blue that it's a little more muted blue if you know what i mean it's not like screaming blue and same as this one it's more like a grayish blue i really love these tones and i really really enjoy this palette and i really enjoy the quality of this palette they did such a great job with this and yeah of course it's going to be one of my favorite palettes we just have three palettes left guys and i'm gonna save the two for last but now we're gonna take this one and this is from lewis cosmetics it's a british indie brand and this is the meet me in the underworld eyeshadow palette when this came out it was like sold out even before they released it or something i don't know i my friend lisa lobotomy i will link her down below i hope i don't forget if i forget tell me i will link her anyways she uh bought this for me because i couldn't I don't know where I was but something happened probably and I couldn't be on the computer right away when they were releasing this so she bought one for herself and one for me and oh my god when I saw the pictures I haven't opened this yet oh my god how stupid am I when I saw them coming out with this color story I was like I need that palette I need a palette and I'm so happy I have it it's so great quality it's so good color story I mean look at this color story it's so unique and beautiful and it's something about it that feels I want to play with it straight away I feel so inspired when I look at it and yeah maybe it's just because I I love these kinds of greens I love berries and the mix together I feel like it's such a fun palette really love this one as well of course I love all these palettes because these are my top 11 palettes in my collection 2021 but yeah 
I uh, can't say enough. I hope they get this back. I don't know if it, it's in stock yet or if they're gonna restock it or anything, but it's a beautiful palette. So guys, I just have two palettes left. Can you guess what it is? One, you definitely can if you have been here. <laughs> I'm gonna take this one first. Uh, let me see, it's so, it's so big, it's so big. So this is the, I don't know if this is going to be in frame. <laughs> this is the Be Perfect Carnival, the Antidote palette by Stacey Marie. And yeah, love this palette. I, I'm gonna try to open it up because it's so big. I mean, the only bad thing about this palette is the size of this palette. It's so, so big, but how stunning is this one? This one came, was it this autumn? I just felt like I have used this so much this autumn. Uh, this is the perfect autumn palette and I can feel like it's it's such a fun everyday palette as well because you have so many options here and I love every section of this palette. I love the warm tones, I love the more neutrals, I love the greens. It's just perfect and I feel like okay you can make it a little bit smaller you have some repetitive shades here a few but I don't know I, I'm super happy with this palette and I've used it a lot and that says a lot because I don't want I usually I don't reach for palettes this big but this one I have reached for a lot and yeah, it just says it all. It's it's a stunning palette. I can really recommend it. Okay, guys, the last palette. You probably already guessed it. It's from Glam Chapolin and it's the Cintronata palette. I bought a new one, guys. I have, I'm gonna show you. I have my old one here and I bought a new one just because I have accidentally dropped the old one on the floor twice on camera. <laughs> And the last time I did it, uh, the shade just popped out one shade. So I needed to get a new one. And I have it here. So happy. I haven't digged into this. This is like untouched. And what can I say? We're gonna swatch it. We're gonna swatch the three shades I always swatch. But if you are new here, if you like yellow eyeshadow, if you like yellow shimmer, you don't want to miss out on this one. It's so amazing. Glam Shop does the most amazing shimmer formula, sparkly, beautiful goodness. The mattes are super nice as well. They are contains a lot of kick up though, so be careful, super careful, but oh my god. The star of the show are definitely the shimmers in this palette and can I say anything else? I, these like three shades speaks for themselves. I can tell you. I mean, as I said, if you love yellow shadows, you don't want to miss out on this one. This is the only yellow I should probably need in your life. I mean, look at that yellow shimmer here. I am so in love with this palette. I, I cannot rave about it enough because you all know if you have been here, <laughs> you are probably tired of me raving about this freaking palette, but I can't help it. I love yellow, I love like lemons, as I said before, and oh, it has a special place in my heart. I, I'm so happy I have a new one as well because this is so, oh, I'm so happy, yeah. I'm so happy also to see what Glam Shop is going to release uh, this year because, or next year, 2022, I mean, because there are palettes that I can see myself picking up, but I am very curious about next year because I feel like they have been growing a little bit. People have noticed them and I can totally see why because they have great formula. It's just that people have to see how good formula they have and how great palettes they have. And yeah, that will be this um, end of this video, like <laughs> the last palette. So I hope you have enjoyed this video, me showing you all my favorite eyeshadow palettes 2021. Which are your favorite palettes 2021? Tell me down below. I really want to hear your like favorite palette. That would be so fun to see your favorite palette this year. But yeah, that was it guys.
guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this video as I said and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Take care guys. Bye.